Yes, here they are. Houses, and as you can see, they are yellow. Uh, don't know what the whole idea behind having yellow houses were, but uh, it's a thing. Can't quite see inside. Well, actually, we can, but there's not much in here. Anywho, we didn't come here to look at houses, now did we? No, we came here to see some Prime Co. Two one on one. Yes, let's uh, rock and roll, shall we? And Elpern is, in fact, getting ready to rock and roll with the Soviets. Going special rifle command? Penals, maybe? And he also locked in urban defense tactics. Very fitting, as seen as this is sort of an urban area. Mm -hmm. Penals also on the way. And he is up against Mirasol, the dishonored one. One, 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 one. He was locked in German mechanized here with the Oster. Mm -hmm. And he's packing buffs for his grenadiers, you know, shoot faster, more accurate, and reload faster. Elpern has a more mixed bag, as we can see here. His uh, conscripts, which he might not have any one of, are a little more accurate. His gun is faster produced and uh, also have a little extra punch to them. And for some reason, they are not showing the SIS gun here, but rather the uh, the baby AT gun. Don't know why, but it's a thing. What now? More penals for Elpern, right? So far, just capping. Oh, Elpern, getting away with denying a cover here. At least I don't think. The infantry can squeeze in here. Hmm. And Mirasol, for some reason, expects a, a push on his cutoff. All right. Also, he certainly has planted this on the limits of his base. Yeah. Just uh, on the very edge. All right, let's get some shooting going. Bam, there we are. No more green cover could be denied there without taking uh, lots of damage. Yeah, SVG rifle's gonna get up there. Shoot, shoot, fall back, Mirasol. Won't take that engagement. It's over, Grenadiers, I have the high ground. And sandbags. <laughs> You underestimate my power! But this time around, there's no lava around. No sand for that matter. See? No windows here. Meaning that they can't really return fire onto these men. And for some reason, Elpern goes over here. Ah, that would be it. The heavy machine gun and these men. I got you. Uh, not the best engagement there for Elpern. Mirasol just had the better position. Elpern's men here, they are also now dangerously overextended. There's no one on their cutoff to protect them. Okay, he backs out for now. Anyway, down here, flamethrower. Oh, Elpern is safe cavalry arrived in the nick of time <laughs> these penals here are just being as annoying as possible and the grins they had to stop to undo the damage that the penals did eager to move up there and deal with the penals there we are uh, could also go up and take the mid kit if he wanted to Ah, suppressed back to base gonna be strolling right through these hard-working pioneers the don't mind us yup just returning back to base forgot the vodka <laughs> so that's it for Ilp and I'd say he's got three penals I don't really think four penals is gonna do him good because they 
cost quite a bit to reinforce. Is it 27? They cost. And then it gets a little bit lower with once you build the mechanized armor company. Up. Help is on the way though, penals to the rescue. However, the heavy machine gun is guarded by Grins, and there's a model about to drop here pretty soon, I'd guess. Pretty soon, I'd guess. Well, there it is. Took some time, but it happened. Also, Elpern retreated that squad up there. Alright. No field infirmary. Why not? Why not yet? Oh, is he gonna is he gonna build a forward HQ here? No, sadly not. And now light AT guns. Still no medics. Huh. Oh well. Could be a Tremere Assault's advantage here. Uh, Elper not having medics and yeah, the baby AT gun. Yeah, it's gonna help. Versus the 2 to 2 once it will inevitably um, come onto the battlefield. And again, Elpern with the cutoff. Uh, well, not the cutoff, but the fuel. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Oh, this one here. Okie dokie. Look at this. Look at this flag. Nice. The GCS logo. Very nice. Uh, okay, yes, yes. No need for field infirmary because this one here comes with a bunch of medics. I don't know, is that like five? Six. Oh, picked up the medicine. Good. Also gives them a little bit of combat boost for like 30 seconds, I believe. Yeah, and fights more efficient. Let's see how efficient they are. Unfortunately, they didn't have access to the uh, the last man standing. Gives a small small benefits the more of the men that dies, but by no means that'll be turned into a Terminator squad. Baby AT gun could be used here to destroy Sandbag, and the shot just disappeared into nothing. And again, can we get a third one? Yeah, why not? I don't know. This thing here seems to be... There we go, finally! Finally shot. Okay, back to, back to it disappearing into nothing. <sighs> Sneaks down here. Haha, <laughs> the two others stand are cloaked. Alright, there we are. Run! Shock troops. Shockingly. Could divert down here to help deal with this. Okay, getting in on the retreat path here. Mirasol needs to retreat right now if he wants to save the squad. Oh, good flank. Good flank by the shocks. Mirosol immediately spots it and turns tail running back. However, over here, the forward HQ, yeah, it's um, not looking too sturdy anymore, is it? And yeah, the, looks like the mortar has done a lot of damage to it. So I'm not really so sure that it was worthwhile investment. 40 fuel as well. Say, there is also, yeah, engineers can build field camps and ambient buildings. Would it have been better for him if he went with the field camp instead? Forward position can heal and reinforce infantry. The field camp might also be able to be repaired. 
plus it's cost less than turning in an ambient building into the uh, forward HQ. Because this building here, as you can see, it's not really sturdy. It might have been worth it if it had been a strong stone structure. <laughs> Gotta build those strong buildings. No time to lose to the last man. Oh no! Ah, oh, he was so close, and he would have gotten away with it if it weren't for those metal kids. Hey, at least it still stands. Like until the next <laughs> mortar shell hits it, then it's gonna go dead. But it is a quite the nice view. Up here, just leaving a little surprise for Mirasol. Ah, there goes the neighborhood. Well, goodbye, 250. Yeah. Probably gonna have to invest 200 extra. Yeah, don't really think he got value out of that. Maybe if he had placed it like behind the building so it could enjoy some cover from the mortar. From the mortar, yeah, yeah. That would have been worth it, I guess. Plus, it's cheaper, and I'd say that he'd also be able to repair it. Not so sure if it uh, has more HP than the barn that's now completely destroyed. Right then, Tick coming up. Ilpen not wanting to go for this just yet. He wants the first tank on the battlefield before he'll consider getting medics, I'd say. Simply because armor is key. Not light armor though, but it is nice. Little two two two. Two two twos coming after you you you. Little baby AT gun. Well it's got an A kill, an infantry kill nonetheless. Oh yeah, the two 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 is gonna do so much damage to these men. And it can also look sharp while doing it. See all yeah, the 222, 40 increased side range while stationary. That's quite powerful. Alright, Elperm. He's about to um, become a lot more stable. The first T34 is about to arrive. Should provide a lot of support for his infantry which has seen you know a loss in terms of um, penal battalions we lost one penal barely made it away but uh, that last bullet hit his Achilles heel there we are field infirmary soon to be I think the the medics just simply vanish once the structure here is destroyed. Oh, what's what? Mine. Aha. All right. Mine on the s slope, ramp, whatever. So, yeah, pack gun. Bought it there and, you know, back to the garage with you. I hope you enjoyed your uh, five seconds on the battlefield. It was very nice. Oh, there's also a mine behind them here. Mm -hmm. Now, enter the Panther IV. Let's see. Penetration near and far. I 
I thought it had higher penetration than this. 125 near, while far being 110. Is that really right? Well, goodbye 222. That thing is said to have 120 near. Really? All right. I will, of course, uh, have to check the stats afterwards. The mod is uh, the better, better info mod. Still uh, being in development, not available to the public yet. Will also be available in German. see the pack yeah that's uh, packing a punch in terms of penetration team is ready for which seems about right still not so sure about this is it really that little I thought it was way higher oh well how much armor does uh, the T-34 have 160 Bounce, bounce to that. Oh, hey, a mortar. Didn't realize we had one of those. Um, Elpern. Gotten a new uh, penal battalion on the field. It goes for PGRS rifles on them. <sighs> it wants to have a little bit of extra firepower versus uh, Mirasol's armor. Plus, they are they are they are they are all right for dive protection. You know, whenever your opponent dives and you have some PGRS rifles around, they can quickly turn around, do some damage. Plus, they also have the uh, anti-vehicle satchel charge, which does so much damage. 240 damage, and I believe a shoe mine does 200 damage to vehicles. Let's see what the mod says. Oh, we don't have shoe mines here, but a tiller. Okay, that does 400. Stuk. Oh, it takes the scenic route. Not often we see this uh, be used. All right, Stuk. And the four also joins the fun. New baby AT gun arrives. Okay, it says here it has 140 penetration. There's no way that the baby AT gun has better pen than the Panzer IV. No way. No way. Oh, who gets it? Penals can't pick it up. Shock troops could, but no. <laughs> yes, sir. Look at this. Oh, man. Plus, ooh, Elpern cleaning house. Right now. Wouldn't worry about the infantry company. It's just a hole in the ground. Anyway. Oh, yeah, the stoop. Doesn't do well if it has to engage around corners. Oh no, and what is this? Baby AT gun coming in there. Oh, goodbye you. Stuk survives. Crawling, trying to reach. Nope, couldn't quite get in reach to throw a uh, grenade. Oh, yoink. Snatches the heavy machine gun. Oh, good play by Elpern! No! Oh, well, okay, he gets the Panzer four. Phew. We have lost a Panzer. 
Hey, Stuke. I'm glad, I'm glad that you got the machine gun, otherwise you'd be more or less unemployed right now. Uh, Elpern is probably going for the KV-2. Seeing as he has that much fuel. New heavy machine gun for Mirasol and Elpern. Yeah, we are pretty much playing the waiting game now. Waiting for uh, the next tank to arrive. KV-2 versus... It's probably going to be another Panzer IV here for Mirasol. I don't think... Yeah. He hasn't ticked up. And... Yeah. He's not really in a position where I'd say it would be worth for him to take up. Oh, they got quite low there with the health, but the, the whole squad managed to get away. And Ostwind for Mirasol. Oh, this is not looking good for Mirasol. Uh, that Ostwind is going to be up against the KV-2. And all what he's got is a Stug and one pack. And soon to only having a Stug. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, hello. Got run down there. Um, Stuck gonna try to, to do something useful here. Got yeah, the machine gun. Doing a bit of damage, but not much. All right. Here he is. The Ostwind. The Flak tank. Flak Panzer, if you will. And there it is! Look at this ugly tank! People call it a uh, refrigerator. And yeah, it will. Not really sure why they call it the refrigerator tank, but it's ugly. More, more like a freezer from up top. Ugh. Rough retreat path. Oh, mine. Telemine there as well. It was revealed, but I doubt Elpern saw it. And now the Ostwin is like, You called me in when that thing is on the field? Nein, 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 das geht's doch nicht. Oh, good job, KV2. Well, maybe it's not so bad after all. If the KV2 takes more of those shots <laughs> oh I'm okay too oh hey well those guys are dead <laughs> should he this probably hmm well so far the stuk and uh, pack done a good job of the kv2 away and just been this like thanks guys <gasps> thanks All right what is it in siege mode what was that that hit there hmm. Or did it actually do an attack round through this thing here? It is a little bit weird, these shot side blockers. But look at this good engagement here. KV2 almost goes down. Stuk almost went down. But only the baby AT gun suffered a loss here. Uh, not looking at you guys. <laughs> Your squad is still surviving, barely. Uh, well, there goes one grin. And this pack gun up there, it is in trouble. Big trouble. Could wipe some XP here, if he gets lucky. 
One good burst could do something. But there were no good first. Close though. Close. Well, time for repairs. While uh, that's going on, let's have a brief look at the stats here. Everything. Oh yeah, considering how Elpern has went penals. It's not looking that good for him in regards to the KD. No, no, sir. Oh, this Telemann could blow up in his face. Phew. Good thing these guys didn't quite stomp at the ground there. But then again, how are Telemann's triggered anyway? Is it some sort of magnetic mechanism or is it triggered by weight? I wonder. Stuk, another Stuk, Stuk's to the rescue. The enemy is taking what we have secured. What? Oh, wow. Free combat engineers? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mines, mines, mines for days. Elpern really wants to defend his flank. And I can understand why. Baby AG gun goes by. And we are soon about to see a triple cap for Mirasol. Who... It's bound to take the lead pretty soon in terms of victory points. A double cap, that's good. That's what was that? What's that? That's 30 VPs lost a minute for Elpern right now. Ow. Stuk to the rescue. Along with the pack. Oh, glorious red army. Oh man, the, the Ostwind actually did quite a bit of damage to uh, the squad. Uh oh. KV2, not really in the best position. Uh, lucky bounce. Bouncing on the turret. Or tower. Oh, heat shell. Target weak point. And goodbye, KV2. Oh, express delivery. Vehicle satchel. Uh huh. A goodbye, penal battalion here. Elpern ran head first into this wall and suffered heavy losses. Now goes for the SU seven, SU eighty five. Mm. Now these combat engineers, they don't really have much left to do. Except go to the front line and fight. More mines! More mines! It's gonna be the fourth mine in this little area here. Wow. The enemy is encroaching on our territory. Emergency repairs. Vehicle is immobile during repairs. A little bit uh, risky here by Mirasol? Or maybe it was a calculated risk and he is seemingly A-OK -okay when it comes to uh, math. And now Panzergrenadiers coming out. Nice. Smoke. Also, shock troops. The only infantry I believe to have... Um, armor values so they can actually bounce <laughs> bounce projectiles though the small arms fire here is not actually uh, a real projectile it's all smoke and mirrors they don't act the same way like uh, tank shells does more mines. 
Planting some mice in some oh, a little unusual positions or uh, clustering them up. Could be devastating here if the tank just came, took a wrong path down there. Uh, and Elpern, being that he's fighting down south and has north, he's probably not too happy about it because it's his least favorite part of uh, Mill Road that is starting up north, fighting down south here. But uh, this side blocker, a shot blocker, has been removed thoroughly. So it ought to help him. He's also self-spotting here. He spots that one. Doesn't have any indirect fire though to help deal with it. And now Mirasol goes the way of the Dane with yet another Ostwind. Stukes and Ostwind plus Panzergrenadiers Imperial Dane would be proud. Hmm. All right. Good grenade from the shocks. Oh, by the way, a bit free. More accuracy. They can throw the grenade further. Yeah, that grenade. Weapon cooldown. Harder to hit. And, well, I don't know what the first star gives them. Probably the smoke grenade. No, even more. Recharge time for the grenades are lower and lower cost for the smoke grenade. All right. All right. We got two Ostwins, two Stukes. And in the other corner, we have a T-34 along with his tag partner, the SU-85. So far, it's been a very poor track record here for Elpern lately because Mirasol, he's been stepping up his game and really knocked Elpern down a notch. More mines! 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 There is only one minesweeper though. Oh, 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 oh. Baby AT gun! Ah, oh, 35 is dead. Yikes. Well, no, no pressure, T34. No pressure. Got one Ostwind working on the Stuk. Here's the Panzerfaust. Yep, there it is. And, oh man, this is a slaughter. Uh, that thing gets away. That thing is still alive. Oh, close call. Mm. I don't suppose Elpern could convince Mirasol to attack up here. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. I'm afraid we are approaching GG at a fast pace here. Smoke deployed. Fighting tooth and nail, defending the cutoff point. And what's that? We got shock troops coming in from behind. Emergency field repairs has restored that stuk self quite a bit. Damage. Not enough to actually knock it out. Abandoned. Yeah. Hold on just a little longer. The T-34 is almost good to go. <laughs> okay, that'll have to do. <laughs> go out there and get him, tiger. <laughs> oh man, it's so close to the mine. No. Oh, retreating through this. Yikes. New Ostwind on the way. Man, and Elpern. He was doing rather good at one point. Yeah, but the, the investment into the KV-2 certainly didn't pay off for him. <sighs> what to do when you have two Stooks uh, outside of your base? Surrender or fight. Elpern has chosen fight. He may have one shot left. But with a heavy machine gun also out there and no indirect fire to support him. Yeah, it's uh, uh yeah, there there's the Ostwind. Just chewing him up. No ATs to support the T-34. And his infantry core is pinned.
Right. That would be GG. Yeah, these men, they have stopped moving. Elpern has indeed thrown in the towel. He tried something different with the forward HQ. But it didn't work out for him as the HQ was quickly destroyed. But what a show here from Mirasol and Elpern. They went with something off meta. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and if you did, be sure to uh, like and subscribe. Just like the video if you wanted to see some more uh, sweaty one versus one meta game. But otherwise than that, I'll see you wonderful people later. Goodbye. And if some of you wonderful people are still watching, I got some wonderful stats for you. Check it out. Numbers, 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 bigger numbers, smaller numbers. We got all the numbers here. Most valuable unit. That little AT gun. Exterminator, 30 kills on the shocks in total. Wait, exterminator, 30 kills. Oh, and 29 infantry kills. What did they else kill? A building? 25. Oh, did they have a friendly kill? This is 29 kills. What's... And no friendly fire there. Could it have been a mine that they killed? I don't know. Anywho. Graphs! KV2 arrives, KV2 goes. And they open trying to rebuild, but... Didn't quite manage to uh, wrestle Mirasol off the top of his game. Resource float being floaty. Points held. Very uh, strong start from Mirasol. Then Elpern switch, switch, switch. And then Elpern completely dominates. But right around this time here when he lost. Uh, yeah, well, shortly before losing the, uh, the KV2. It's a downhill trend here for the points held by him. Anywho, that's all for the stats. I'll see you wonderful people later. Goodbye.